Hello everyone. In this short video we're going to take a look at creating a road corridor that connects a 3D feature on the left and right side of my corridor and builds a straight grade between them so ignoring any crown. In this example we're going to consider the case where we have the survey of our gutter line, our lip of gutter. This could be edge of pavement or any other feature but let's just pretend we have the 3D position of that gutter line and we want to connect straight grade across it. Let's take a look at what we have. So first of all I have a simple tangent alignment here in the middle and I have an offset alignment left and right called left and right offset. They're 12 foot both sides of the alignment. These are going to mark the horizontal position of the gutter. More realistically you would have these in the form of a feature line or some other feature from survey but we're pretending we have these so we're we built offset alignments for them. Same thing in profile. So here is my proposed profile, which is just straight longitudinal grade. And to pretend that we have our gutters here, we built two offset profiles, 1.25 feet below and 1.5 feet below. And notice the right gutter is the lower side from a profile standpoint. And one last note before we get started. I went ahead and built a corridor that is tied to this empty assembly and already have a sample line in the section view ready to cut that corridor. So just wanted to save some time from building corridor and sample lines. So here we go. I'm going to go to the tool palette. Now if I didn't need pavement build up and I just wanted a straight surface line, top grade maybe, across here, would most likely go to generic links and just go to link offset and slope. Come set a point that targets the right side gutter. And then I would turn that link off and then I would create another from there a link offset and slope to the other side that targeted the left side gutter. And then I would have my straight grade. I could continue past those building curving gutter or shoulder or whatever and I'd be in good shape. But let's say we actually need a pavement or structural layers under this also. So we're going to start in a similar fashion. So we're going to go link offset and slope and go to my properties palette. And let's do 12 foot, not that it really matters. And we're not going to turn the link off yet. Let's leave it on for a bit. And I'm just going to place that here and escape. Notice I'm not worried about the fact that it's a positive 2%. I don't care because I'm going to control and target this point here with my 3D position of my gutter. So that's going to be overridden. So next I'm going to go up to our lanes tab. I'm going to go to lane, super elevation, AOR. Notice here I could control all of my structural depths for my pave, pavement layers, base, build up, whatever. Not worried about slope here. I'm going to go down to slope direction. I'm going to change that towards crown. And then for the side, I'm going to go left. So I'm going to start on that outside point and move to the left end towards crown, even though we're going to actually not have crown. And escape. There we go. So one thing, if I go to, notice here I don't have the offset labeled, so I'm going to actually go on the subassembly properties here and just change a code just to make this uh, label a little bit better. There we go. So you can see this is doing exactly what I told it to. It's just going out 12 feet, starting in the middle, and that's it. So the key now is to use the corridor targets to control this. So I'm going to go to quarter properties and I'm going to go to targets and my offset alignment. This is my generic link. I'm going to set that to the right side horizontal alignment and for my super elevation lane AOR that's going to be the left side. So I want it because I'm going towards crown that's going to find that left side horizontal position to stretch it over across center line. And same thing for profile. So for my, this is my generic link. So that's going to be the right gutter profile. And now for my lane, that's going to be the left gutter profile. Hit OK. Now take a look at the section view in the bottom left as I hit OK here. OK, notice the right side went and found that 3D position of the right gutter profile. The other side stretched to that left gutter profile, uh, left gutter horizontal and profile, move the elevation up to that point. 
and that was about a quarter of a foot between those two, over 24 foot. That is about 1% slope. So we know we're, we're close here. One thing I would do now is, you know, before I started getting to any surface building, is I would go into the subassembly properties and omit that link, of that generic link. You don't need that. Messing up your surface. There we go. And now let's make a change. We'll go to our profile. And let's actually lower this lower side another quarter foot, or 0.25. So I'll highlight the profile, go to Geometry Editor, raise lower, and we'll do a minus 0.25. Hit OK. And sure enough, we drop this side because it's following that 3D position. We dropped another quarter of a foot, so that would be about 2% over 24 feet. So just to recap, we wanted to connect two gutter lips with a single cross slope on a roadway, ignoring the crown and the center line. And so this is one way to do it. I hope this has been beneficial.